there's nothing like it. I get to share a passion of mine, which is cycling, with folks that wore the nation's cloth with me. The camaraderie is immediate, and that is overwhelmingly emotional. Movement is medicine. That's why Soldier Ride is critical to the mission. Getting the warriors out of isolation, getting them connected to other warriors, showing them that they can still do these things in life, like ride a bicycle. We want them to continue to live life and move. And it's about connection. We start together, we ride together, we finish together. Everybody rides together. Using the bike, getting outside, moving your body, it helps you sleep, it helps lower stress, it helps with blood pressure. Putting that all together in one experience can be really empowering for a warrior. A traditional soldier ride is 40 warriors coming to a selected city. We fit them to a bike, we fit them to a helmet, and those rides vary from 15 to 20 miles in distance with an average of 10 to 15 miles per hour. Typically, we have police escorts, tons of community support. People line the street to come out and honor these warriors. Peer support on an event like this with Wounded Warrior Project, bringing our brothers and sisters together, all military puts us back in our element of teamwork, connection, camaraderie, our battle buddy. One of our models for Soldier Ride is no one rides alone. Like we're all out here together, having an amazing time. Soldier Ride is a really special program in that we're fully adaptive and able to serve every one of our alumni. So any rider that comes to us, we have the equipment and the staff with the expertise to be able to fit them and get them out on the road. If you have lower leg amps, arm amputations, TBI, severe TBI, stability issues, we have upright bicycles, seated recumbents, we have hand cycles, adaptive bikes that are tandem. So if the warrior has an injury where they can't move their legs or arms in any way, we can still pilot them on the bike and get them out on the road. We want to be able to adapt and serve everyone. I had two head injuries during my tour in Iraq. That started my issues with my eyes. And I remember when I got fitted for the bike and even just to do the test run, I got emotional because I felt like I could do something. I don't feel I have any, any limitations. I was really grateful for the Soldier Ride. It was a godsend for me. Soldier Ride has evolved to numerous different styles and also disciplines. So we have skills development camps, which are 10 to 20 warriors focused on skill acquisition, confidence, self-esteem, the main thing being connection to other warriors. And then we've introduced skiing and snowboarding skills development camps. So we're trying to expand the breadth of disciplines to those areas as well. The goal for the variety of skills development camps is just to expose these warriors to what's out there for them to continue living active lifestyles and bring an element of fun as well. It really is about teamwork. The military is all about teamwork and really overcoming wounds, either physical or invisible, is also about teamwork. You don't do it alone. You do it with the support of friends and family and you obviously do it with the support of organizations like Wounded Warrior Project.